Oof Travis you got a fever you should rest lie down I'll make a soup quickly. Katress I swear I've never lied about my love to you. I'll get crazy without you please come back to me. Travis it's not the right time to talk about that you should rest now. Hey what are you doing what's wrong with you? I'm a big jerk and stupid person I know. And I'm the one who betrayed you and your trust in me. I can't believe that I was the cause of your tears Katress. I broke my promise you trusted me, but I didn't protect you. But I love you I swear forgive me please I'm ready to do anything. I'm madly in love with you I swear. Okay. We'll talk later about that let me bring a cold water. Fine. Take off your shirt you're so sweaty. I know you're cold but I have to wipe your sweat. Try to relax don't worry. But I am, because you are here. Damn I miss your cuddles and your smell a lot cat. Good Travis. Now turn to your left side, huh? Cat, have I ever told you that you are so cute that why I call you cat, like the cat you know? Aha, uh -huh. I see the fever Bruh. really made you hallucinate. It's not the fever, it's you. You always make me talk without thinking, Katress. You make me crazy and lose control, I become weak in front of you. Huh? Even when I look at your lips now, I suddenly feel crazy and want to kiss you. Hey, I'm warning you don't dare, okay? I see you really you hallucinate. Stupid. Okay. I'll be quiet. Oh my god, I should cook something, but I have nothing in the kitchen. And it's late, all the store should be closed now, what do I have to do? I still have the medicine that he bought, but he should eat first. Damn, I have no other choice but this, he helped me too. Yes, my friend is sick, so please can you give me some vegetables, just one piece of each. Please? Of course Katress, don't be shy for asking me we are neighbors. Thank you Layla, I won't forget your help. Don't stay there, come inside. No need thanks, I'm in hurry. Damn, I didn't do this even when I was starving without food. So why am I doing this for him? Here it is, I wish he get well. Thank you again Layla, sorry for bothering you. Oof. Huh? Seriously now? You look tired cat. I can see what you lived in pain from your face. You look tired a lot I don't even know if you sleep or eat or rest. But what I know that you suffered because of me. You trusted me a lot but I betrayed you. Why didn't I believe you and how did I doubt you? You tried to stop me so much but I am stupid. Was I blind that much, I even pushed you why? Please Travis enough you should believe me. I love you I can't be without you. Keep your dirty hands away from me. No, I won't let you go. Ouch. I wish my tongue that insulted you and my hands would be cut off. Huh? Your hands are so cold and shaking. Zoe said that you work until one of night. Damns that much I made you suffer. But I'll make forget everything and forgive me I swear. I won't give up on you. Even if I have to follow you all my life I will. 
I will because you are only mine. I won't let you to anyone. Not Jack or anyone else because you are mine. If I had to kidnap you and take you away from everything, so that you could be with me, I'll do it without thinking I won't let anyone take you from me. Huh? Ouch, my neck hurts a lot, oof. Can't feel my body. Well, thank God. What is she doing? Fine, I think I can buy the bread. But she only took a few cents and was gone. What was that now? Does she put her money here? It's empty, was that all what she had? Huh? Huh, what is that? Water and electricity bill, the price of renting a house, my father's medicine, the salary per day. But wait, impossible to provide all this with this salary what? and as a waitress, where is the food? What is this? Oh, you woke up. Good morning. So how do you feel now? Fine. Jack, can you stay with me and don't go to school today? I don't feel like going to school is boring without Catress. Oh. Okay, got it. Anyway, when you feel ready, come to eat. I'll make the breakfast. Okay. No way she thinks about debts and her salary isn't enough. Is it possible that she doesn't buy food? That's why her kitchen is always empty. She's not fine and doesn't ask for anything because of me. Damn to me. She took the keys for sure. So who is he? Should I open the door? Who are you and what do you want? Hello boy, I'm the owner of this house where that girl live. Hurry up and say what do you want. I want that girl to pay me the rest of the rent. The month ended she only gave me a small advance. Either she pays or she leaves my house. Hey stupid this house doesn't deserve that price. It's so cold and not safe. It's none of my business she asked me to rent her the house and I did. Despite I doubt her because I see cars in front of the house a lot. Speak politely or I will cut off that filthy tongue of yours. Do you understand? Sorry, I know sir that this house is not good enough I told her that. I told her it's so cold and there are holes in the bathroom ceiling and that the water is cold. Because the water heater is broken and not working but she said she needs it. Huh? Seriously? So listen to me old man I have a suggestion for you. I'll pay you for three months. Despite she won't stay here that long and you'll reduce the price for her. You'll tell her you acted like that. Because the house doesn't deserve it all. What? Sure, with pleasure sir, I'll cut her 30%. Really Nick? 50% what a greedy. Sure, sure, I'm sorry sir. Sir, it's like I saw you on TV. Are you from Domus family? Then, listen shut your mouth and don't bother her for paying you. You'll take the money, and now leave. You stupid! Sure, sure sir, Domus sorry for bothering you both. So you know the company. Go there and ask them to call me, they'll pay you. Sure, sir, sorry again. Damn, I hate people like him. But if she knew about that, she'll hate me more, oh my god. Hi. Why are you here? Is there something? No, nothing, I just wanted to smell the air. That's it, no one came, I was alone. I see you're sweating and pale. Did your temperature rise again? <gasps> um, I don't know. You can check. Fine. Come here. Cat, hold on. What are you doing? Good you got well. You don't have a fever. I was outside, so I have to wash my hands. I didn't want to touch you, so I did it by my forehead. Oh, so it's like that. 
I actually thought you wanted to kiss me, my cat. Huh? The f What kiss stupid are you crazy? Why would I kiss you jerk? Ouch. Fine, fine, I'm sorry, just let my hair crazy. Listen to me if you are here, it's just because you helped me too when I was sick, okay? If it's not like that, I wouldn't care about you and I would leave you outside. You fine, just let me, you're hurting me crazy short. Bruh. Anyway, He's I'll stupid. make the breakfast, your clothes are dried. Eat then take your medicine and get out of here. Oh sh not good. Okay. Ha, huh, what's wrong? Move, stupid car. But what should I do now? Oof, I don't know anything about fixing the cars. Oh, a girl. Hi miss. I wanna ask you, do you know any repair shop here? My car is broken. Yes, and you are lucky because it's close. Look it's there the blue ceiling. Oh. I saw it, thank you. So can someone go with me? It's not far from here. Of course miss, go tell them to go with you please. Hi sir, can you help? Ouch. Oof miss you scared. <coughs> huh? Hi. You work here, sorry I scared you. Fine do you need something Zoe? Oh, sure I'll go to check your car. Oh, thank you Tyler. She looks different. Her hair is weird. Let's go, I'll be late. Of course. Will you stay standing there like that? Don't worry, it will be ready. Cat, do you buy the food or just because I'm here? No, I buy it for sure. I just went to bring the bread. Why would I buy it for you? I told you you are nothing Cat, be for careful. Are you crazy? Damn, what if you hurt yourself? Oh, but if I did, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt me at all. I've already been stabbed a lot, so even if I hurt myself, I won't be affected. Hey, what are you doing now? Cat, no one can heal our pain except each other, believe me. Let me be your medicine, I'm ready to do anything you ask. That's enough, I told you I won't believe you and you are nothing to me. Don't say that, please. If I'm nothing to you, you are everything to me, cat. Did you forget our beautiful love and the beautiful moments that we live together? Enough, let me, Travis Oof. Yes, it was beautiful and I believed you. You asked me to hold your hand and I did, but you left it and went. So shut your mouth and don't talk about that. But I love you, Catress. Oof enough, liar. How could you even talk to me after everything you did? Done. It wasn't something dangerous anyway. Fine, thank you. How much do I have? No need, you can go. I'll take care of this. I know these moves. Your salary will be reduced. I can pay. <coughs> Fine. Sorry, I forgot. Of course you can. Damn. Can't you be humble? You rich people really like to show off. Hey, do you mean that I am arrogant or what? I don't know, I'm talking about all the rich people. I really hate you all. What? Not all rich people are as you think, okay? And you don't know me well. Oof, don't be upset. Huh? Huh? Sorry, I think I got a little excited. Fine. I'm sorry I withdraw what I said, I don't mean you with my words. I didn't convince you yet. You don't need because you already did. If you are you wouldn't talk to me. Oh, I talk to you because we are friends, right? Aren't we? Oh. I didn't know that we are friends, but it's an honor to be so. Most famous perfume's daughter in the country is my friend. Wow. I've never even imagined talking to someone like you. Really, Nick? Wow. It's like you exaggerate. We are friends, so I don't want my value to you to be material. Good? I guess I won't despite she's wealthy, but she looks ordinary girl. Gotta go so not to be late. You should change your thoughts about people, because they are different kinds of each class.
I guess I'll think of that. Her voice was soothing and her words made it more comfortable. Strange someone looks at me as a friend. Cat, please don't cry I just wanted you to remember everything. I shouldn't cry in front of you. Whenever I see your face I remember what you did to me. You trampled on my dignity and insulted me with the worst words. You kicked my parents out without asking where can they go. They loved you they called you son do you remember? Is that much your heartless one? I loved you but you doubt me you didn't trust me or try to ask me what happened. Is that much you didn't know me? You really thought that I betrayed you do you know why? Because you've never trusted me. No Catress I really was trusting you and I know you. No you didn't trust me why are you lying? I was insulted in front of you but you didn't defend me. Your friend accused me in my honor, in your girlfriend's honor in front of you, but you did nothing. Did you call yourself a boyfriend who protects his love? You didn't do anything for me at that time. You had to punch him in face okay? And said that she can't betray me or sell herself. But no, you looked into my eyes and said that I am cheap and bitch. And what about what happened in front of all students, remember? But why did you close your eyes don't tell me you feel ashamed? You already looked at me smiling while you were insulting me did you forget? When you said that I wanted to change my dirty life, and called me money bitch. I swear to you I regret everything you're not like that. I beg you let me fix things. I regret saying a single bad word about you. Give us another chance please Catress don't deprive me of you. Travis you hold me so hard you'll break me let me. There is nothing called us okay? We are done since you left me on the ground and gone. Please Catress enough what do you want? Want me to sit on my knees in front of you and begging you crying? My heart hurts a lot cat. I don't want you to beg me or anything, I want you out of my life. Because I hate you and I can't bear see you in front of me okay? Are you crazy what do you think you're doing? Sorry, Cat. I really don't know what happened I couldn't control myself. But Catress, don't you see you got shot like usual? Huh? You still love and want me you're just afraid of trusting me again. You are wrong I don't love you anymore okay? And I will never forgive you so don't try. I will try until the last breath because I can't live without you. And I know you still love me but even if you don't. I'll make you fall in love with me again. I will never give up on you or let you to someone okay. I'm sure one day we'll be together. Don't dream I won't be with someone like you okay? I hate you. I'll change my clothes don't come in. Oof, what a stubborn girl. Your coat and scarf are on the sofa, get ready to get out of here. Damn him how could he kiss me like that. Oof I was about to relax. I really wanna kill him damn. Oh as long as I'm suspended I should find a job in the morning too. Oof I feel dizzy my head hurts suddenly what's wrong. Oh my god. Wait. I can't feel my feet. Why? Huh? Catress did you drop something, are you fine? Hey girl can you go out I wanna see you before leaving. Oof answer me cat I really wanna see you. Please, I know you're mad at me but just go out. What? Cat. Cat what happened to you answer me please you're not fine Catress. Please tell me why is your noise bleeding again. Why does this happen a lot? You know why but you don't wanna talk right? Look at me Catress and tell me what are you hiding from me? 
Please trust me I can help you it may be dangerous. No I'm fine there is nothing dangerous. Stop lying stand up let's go to the hospital. Huh? No. No let my hand I won't go you can't force me. No we will go because I can't see you dying idiot. Fine I see I have no choice but this. Huh? Hey, you, put me down, I don't wanna go, you can't take me against my will. I can because your weight plays in my favor, you can't resist. The baby is heavier than you, I feel like I'm not carrying you. <coughs> Small idiot. Travis, don't be childish. I swear I'll punch you, put me down now. Listen to me, stupid, open the car's door now, I don't wanna go. Oh yes, I can see. You want me to watch you bleed three times and shut up, right? Yes, who are you to interfere in my life? I am the one who is afraid of losing you and doesn't want to think. If it's something dangerous for your life, believe me wherever you go you will find me with you Catress. And I swear if one day you decided to leave this life, I won't hesitate to follow you. Catress, it's me Jack, I came to see you. Wait, did she go to work? But it's early. Oh, don't miss hospital. Listen, stupid. I don't want your help from your hospital, okay? Enough, let me go. Don't dream to leave before seeing the doctor, Catress. If you don't want, I'll tell Tyler and your parents about that. And let's see if they won't get crazy. What? I won't let you arrogant. Don't dare cause my father shouldn't know. If I had to do it, I'll tell them so listen to what I'm saying now. Cat. I'm sorry I know it sounds like threat but you are so stubborn. Fine. Listen Travis. Please. Can we leave? I don't want to see the doctor. Huh? Nope. We'll yeah. see him now. Hey, I see you like stupid. this way a lot my short love. Fine let's go. Welcome Travis, Sir Domus. May I help you? you? Yes I don't want a doctor Jesse right now. I don't sure sir but there are people before you. Please, someone help I don't us. like repeating myself. Stupid, I'm sorry Sir Domus come into the room. Down. I'll inform her of your arrival personally. No, she didn't come this Catress works at 5 o'clock in the evening. Fine, thank you, Mrs. Sorry for bothering you. Are you serious? How can you take people's role like this? What if they need the doctor urgently? I know that but I have no choice. I am so nervous that I don't care about anyone's life right now. I can't believe how I was with someone like you. Because you loved him and despite you knew he's bad one, you still love him. Welcome Miss Catress, do you- <coughs> Hey where were you? You are too late. Talk politely stupid oof. Oh, fine I'll take my clothes off. Could you leave us alone Mr. Dumas because I will examine her. Huh? Should I really go out? Can't I stay? Really Nick? You stupid! Wow, it's so cold suddenly. Oof, I wish you're wearing well, Catress. Yes, I know, and as I told you, I know that I have severe anemia and since childhood. When you were young, were these symptoms severe? And did you take any medicine? Damn, is that happening since childhood? No, I was only suffering from nosebleeds and dizziness but it suddenly ended. I never took a medicine or went to a hospital before because all of them weren't near. Just to know severe, anemia may cause diseases. And you should expect anything because you're too late. How do you feel sometimes? When it started happening again it became too painful. Sometimes I choked at night and couldn't breathe easily and my heart hurts a lot. Hey idiot you've never told me anything about that. <coughs> Stupid what are you doing? Go out now. No I'll stay here I wanna hear anything about you. Please focus I say that it's really serious. Your immunity is so weak. Your weight isn't appropriate for your height or age. So your physical structure is weak. Your respiratory system is weak as well. And most importantly, your heartbeat is irregular, which means you have heart problems. Huh?
But, doctor, I've never felt that my heart is weak until recently. You were living on a farm with healthy food and atmosphere, which made things seem normal. But the seriousness appeared when things turned for the worse, like exhaustion, poor eating, and possibly psychological problems as well. Hey, what do you mean by psychological problems? Like problems and traumas made his psychological state worse, which causes, for example, anxiety and depression. And these things are related to the heart and blood pressure. Aha. Are these what caused her heart problems? As I said, she already had a heart problem and these things raised her risk level. But the tests will clarify things more. Actually, she's too late. I hope it's not dangerous. I'll prepare the examination room to take blood for tests and write her some current medications. Get dressed and don't worry, everything will be fine inshallah. Cat. Travis, listen to me, I don't want anyone to know about that, okay? Cat, you will be fine again, I'm sure don't be afraid, my love. Yes, you can't go so easily, you won't leave me alone. Travis, did you hear me? Promise me you won't tell anyone. Especially my parents, I don't want to make them worry more about me. Cat, your health got worse because of me. I made you live the worst, and your heart, because of me, Katress. I can't even look at your face or ask you to forgive me of shame. I'm the worst ever, I don't deserve you, I know I deserve to die. But I swear I can't stand if something happened to you, Katress. Please don't go, I can't live without you, I swear. I deserve anything from you, you trusted me. But look what is happening to you because of me. Fine, Travis, calm down. Listen, please. I'll be fine, but even if something will be happening- No, don't talk, I don't want you to be negative, you'll be fine. Now wear your clothes, you started to get cold. I'll go to see the doctor. But now, I didn't expect this. Wait, were they together all that time? Huh? What is he doing here? Oh damn, I wish he didn't wait a lot. Katress. Hey, what do you want now let my arm? Don't talk to him, please. Are you serious, none of your business? Hi, what's up Jack? Don't tell me you waited a lot. Don't care. Where did you go with him? Damn, I really feel like punch him. Hey bastard, how dare you come here? Huh? Huh? I'm the one who should ask where and why were you with her? Oof enough Travis, none of your business if he's here. And you too, Jack, please. Damn, I don't want her talk to him. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Don't touch her letter now, idiot. You're the one who should let her you can't talk to her. After what you did. You're the one who should stay away from her after your bad acts. Oi. I won't repeat it, take your hand off her now. Damn, I'm so disgusted to see you. Stay away from her, bastard. Damn do you know how I feel whenever I see you. I feel like strangling you to death with my hands. And you know I won't hesitate to do so my dear friend right. Oof Travis enough let him. You can't decide who I talk to in my place okay? Die, damn you traitor. Nah. Enough Travis are you serious stop it now. Fine. It won't help to talk to someone with an empty head. You will always be wild. Good enough how annoying you are stop this farce now. Huh? Cat, what's wrong with you? How do you feel should we go to the hospital? Do you feel dizzy or what? Did you eat something? Oof noises a lot of noises damn you both. It's because of you stupid you are so annoying both. <coughs> I'm sorry, let's get inside to rest. No, let's go somewhere, maybe you'll feel well. 
know each of you will take his car and leave now I don't want to talk to anyone. Especially you I'm really sick of your face today. Hey it hurts but I didn't do anything today so why? <laughs> How many times should I tell you I hate that laugh from you? I'm sorry I forgot just let my hair. Are they really fighting? I told you if you did it again I'll cut your hair. What now stupid? Were you serious? Oof. Let me. It really hurts. Of course I was. Hey. Are you sure you aren't friends anymore? Yes. yes. Oh, I believed I believed. Just leave, please. Fine. Don't forget to take the packet from the car. Hey, what's inside this packet? None of your business. Okay. Fine, just don't show me your face. Damn, don't you understand or what? Enough. Leave her life. She doesn't want you anymore. Who told you that she just can't trust me but still loves me? What love? Don't you see that she doesn't care about you anymore? Enough. Oh, she doesn't care about me anymore. But do you know what happened yesterday? My beautiful cat took care of me all night when I was sick. I slept on her pillow which had her wonderful smell. She measured my fever every moment. And cooked for me with her own hands. I haven't woken up to her beautiful face for a while. Now don't make me laugh. We both know that even if she was kitty, she'll take care of her because it's Catress. But I'm sure she did that because you did the same and she didn't want you in her house. In other words, she only put up with you because you were sick. I don't need to be there to know that she wanted you to leave, right? You lost her. Just give up. You started to hear I hate you instead of I love you. And leave instead of stay, right? I told you don't dream that she'll forgive you or give you a chance again. I will do anything for her to forgive me and hear I love you again. Fine. We will see, bro. You are a liar, a big liar, I won't believe what you said no.